Hello, everyone. Welcome to episode number 20 of the After Ascension podcast. If you're a new listener, I'd like to say thank you for following your intuition and finding your way here. My name is Todd, and it is my goal to be of service to you in any way I possibly can. So thank you very much for choosing to spend your valuable time and energy here with me. In this episode, I just want to get right into the message because I feel like it's really important and I've got a lot of stuff right on the tip of my tongue that I want to get out there before it disappears. So something right now that is super common amongst the old soul and lightworker community is the feeling of being stuck. If that's you, I just want to tell you right now that there's nothing wrong with you. There's nothing late. There's nothing missing that it is a completely normal part of the process. And something that honestly bothers me is when people approach others for help in regards to this issue of feeling stuck, they are met with an answer that honestly is a BS cop out. And I'm seeing a lot of people being told you're feeling stuck because you aren't believing you aren't being patient, you don't have gratitude, you aren't taking responsibility for your life and your actions. And yet it's true, maybe some people need to hear that stuff. That's not what this is about. And let's be completely, fully, 100% honest by what we actually mean when we feel stuck. What we mean is, I don't feel like spirit has held up their end of the bargain. I don't feel like I've received the things that I were told are coming to me. And if I'm so valuable, if I'm so important and so powerful, why do I feel like the situation I'm in has no resolution and I have no control and no power over what has become of my reality? And let me just say something. If this is you, I just want to reassure you right now that you are not being judged for feeling that way. You are not being seen as being ungrateful or not believing enough. Last time I checked, disbelief and lack of gratitude are not an issue in the lightworker community. Not a single bit. Do you know how much you have to believe to put yourself in the situation that you're in? Do you know how much you have to trust and be grateful for the experience you're having in order to put yourself out there like you have? It's off the charts. It really is. So why do you feel stuck then? It's actually pretty simple. It just, the answer lies a little bit deeper under the surface than the easy answer that I feel a lot of people are being given. And um, baby crying in the background, but let's continue anyway. So I just want to say that it's no accident that you find yourself right here, right now, during the shift. That's really the plan for you and there's no better place there's no better time to be than where you are right now okay so that's what the universe lives for is this transition this short little window right here that we have the opportunity to experience such a massive change and shift from not knowing to knowing you know from light to dark from separation to connection it is truly the most sought after time and space in existence anywhere. And you find yourself right here in the thick of it. So congratulations. So what's the issue is that this is not your first rodeo. This is not your first ride. This is something that you've done many, many times. And all of those experiences are contained within you. They exist in your field. They are right on the tip of your Akashic records. It is everything to you. And basically, you chose to endure this separation because of the potential of having that experience again. But when you're an old soul and you have all this knowledge, it's bubbling right there on the surface. And you've been downloading and absorbing lifetimes worth of information into this little meat suit of yours that the excitement that it generates is something that is very fragile and very hard to contain. So you get your ups and downs, you get impatient. The drive to getting to where you're going, sure, you can look at the sights all you want, but at the end of the day, you're sitting in that car seat, you know, getting really bored, you want to get to where you're going, okay? You want to get through that desert, you want to get to that beach resort. 
that's completely normal. So if you are expressing frustration, if you're expressing doubt, if you are fatigued, I just want you to know that that's just part of the deal. It's not something that you're going to get set back for. It's not something that you are going to get delayed or passed over for. It's just that if you can find a way to enjoy the ride a little more, it's going to make your time here more easy. And that's basically summing up what you've been tasked with, is feeling time so that things can come back into alignment so that the environment can be just right to have the most triumphant return possible. And during this lifetime, before awakening, and even after awakening, we, as old souls, collect issues. And these issues are often things that seem insurmountable or unsolvable. Issues that really have no solution according to the standards of the reality that we're participating in before the reconnection happens. And you carry these issues with you and you get to the point where they are very heavy. So you're like, okay, when, when, when? When will I have the tools that I was told would arrive so that I could properly deal with these things? It's like you're in a waiting room waiting for this grand show to start and you have no idea when it's going to start. You have no idea when you're going to leave. You have no idea how long you're going to be there and you don't really have anything else to do. But I think that I can tell you something that's going to make you feel a lot better and take a lot of the weight and pressure off of your shoulders. You already have your ticket and based on your intent and your purpose here, you're good to go. And something that causes frustration is the idea that your spirit family, your higher self does not share that same impatience that you have to deal with. And there's nothing you can really do about it. It's just something that you have to minimize and handle and keep yourself composed. And in doing so, this weight goes a lot smoother for yourself and all of us, honestly. Because your energy, what you do, how you spend your time reflects on all of us. And together we are working to make this experience as comfortable as possible. But some of the things we're having to go through are uncomfortable, and that's the truth. Many of us have been given the task of carrying these issues, some of them really huge and hard to deal with, until we get to the point where we transcend our flesh and we can then create solutions for these issues and then pass that knowledge on to our brothers and sisters who feel helpless, who don't necessarily have the knowledge that is gained through the ascension process, who maybe aren't as self-empowered and as comfortable with allowing these cosmic energies to meld with them, okay? So then you might ask the question, all right, well, I'm in this waiting room, I've got my ticket punched, but what exactly am I waiting for? Well, what I can say is that you're waiting for the next walk-in. Well, many of you are familiar with what a walk-in is, and it's something that if you're awakened, you've already experienced once, um, to your knowledge or not. Some of you have many of them throughout this process. Basically what it is, is you getting to the point in 3D where you give intent to shift, and then a higher vibrational version of yourself steps into this vessel and sort of takes control. And I know the word control to some people can be scary, but basically what it is, is the removal of the survival version of you into the version of you that is basically a receiver and acts as a sponge to all this cosmic knowledge that's going to start coming in. And if you go back and remember what that awakening was like, many of you can remember the exact moment in time that that shift took place. And you know that it was a higher vibrational version of yourself walking in because for the coming weeks and months and maybe still, you felt a little bit buzzed, a little bit in the clouds. And it's a really fun, a really incredible time. But the issue is that that sort of honeymoon phase wears off and the essential process then becomes a grind. So then you're left with the idea that there's something else, and there is. 
you know that you've been told that from the beginning that there's more coming that there's activations and gifts and tools and skills and whatever you want to call them that are coming to you and when that happens is completely between you and your higher self there are no other forces energies entities organizations or anything outside of yourself that can determine when that happens when you're ready when it will finally take place for you so then i'll ask you this what's your relationship with your higher self are you being pulled in so many different places with so much different information that you forget to return to your core and i'll take it a step even further are you so caught up in the planetary ascension process worrying about what's going on over here with humanity who's doing what over here politically what groups and organizations are saying what about this that you are forgetting that the ascension process is a personal process this is honestly about you you're the one in here doing this work you're the one walking around this earth in this vessel you are the one experiencing these issues going through these highs and lows and being courageous and proceeding forward into the unknown and the reason i don't go around talking about cover-ups and organizations and exposing elites and all that stuff is because I would honestly rather sit here in my core and look at the stars with my higher self. And that's it. I will work on myself and everything outside of me will take care and end up the way that it should be. And all the issues out there will find solution because I found a higher vibrational state of being within myself that's going to allow them to do so. I used to care about all that stuff at the beginning and when you first awaken it's really interesting and it helps sort of pull the curtain back but I don't give a damn about any of that anymore. And right now more than ever the world is super sensitive and they should be. That's exactly how it's supposed to be. The world needs to be more sensitive out there. Things are coming to light finally things are getting exposed because the light is doing its job. That's how it was supposed to be. That's how this is all designed to work. And if you find yourself getting sucked into the show, that's fine. But just remember that the cosmic wisdom and knowledge that you seek is all found within yourself. So if you're out there and you're feeling stuck, my advice to you, when you go to bed and you lay down and you start to contemplate your reality, I want you to shut everything out and imagine you grab your higher self and ask him to go into the, another room with you so that you can have a conversation alone. And with everything else quiet outside of you, let your higher self know in the most direct, intentional way you can that you're ready to shift, that you're ready to reach that higher vibrational state and you're willing to put everything you've learned into practice because you're a being of light, you're awake in a planet of darkness that needs you. Then go to sleep, wake up the next day, and know what you said the night before was heard clearly, that your intention was pure, and that heaven's goal above all else is to honor your free will. And if you've made it clear that it is your free will to ascend, that it is solely your choice, Get out of that bed, put one foot in front of the other, and know that every step you take is done with light. Every move you make is under the guidance and the authority of your higher self, who is here to work in tandem with you to move these mountains in your personal life, in the lives of your friends and family members, and all those who are open enough to allow the gifts of the Creator to be seen. Thank you very much for listening, everyone. Before I say goodbye, I just want to let you know that if you're a fan of this podcast and you want to hear more from me, I am buying some new equipment. I am putting together sort of a little studio here, and I'm going to start having some more content coming out for you guys that I think you'll really enjoy. And if you're one out there who feels they have a message to share, I would encourage you to take the steps necessary to get out there and allow that message to be heard because really I'm I haven't even started the personal video messages that I'm going to be posting yet and I'm just getting flooded with downloads and it's and it's actually a fun way to live so do yourself a favor and have the courage to suck at something new
goodbye, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this message.